What's up guys, Gary G back again for another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at Nostalgic Firm. Let's get into it. What's up guys, Gary G back again for another video. Today is the last video in the Nostalgic Handmade series line, and what we're going to be looking at today is the Firm Hold. It's been a long time since I've done a full consecutive line. So I want to take a second to thank my main man Otis for stepping in for me while I was in an important business meeting. Thanks bro, appreciate that. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this bad boy. Alright, so as I stated before, this is the Firm Hold. Um, this is the heaviest of all three holds in the Nostalgic Handmade line. And just like the rest, this is Nintendo themed. Um, and this one is Excite Bike, which is really cool for me because Excite Bike was one of my favorites. So you can see on the front, it says Nostalgic Handmade Firm, ramp up the hold. Very, very cool. And then right here, you can see where it's made. Website sent is Coco Pumps. Very clever. Coco Puffs. Um, the hold is a little above medium, like medium heavy, which is firm, and the shine is about in the middle, which is pretty accurate, I would think. On the left side is the ingredients. Now you can see there that there's still mango butter. It's something that's been throughout the entire line, but this one is actually beeswax based, and that's where all that extra hold comes from. So this one to me is honestly like an oil-based version of the water-based. It's pretty consistent with the feeling of the water-based. So the product on the inside is a white, really waxy looking. It's definitely waxy. So scooping it out on this one is definitely tough. It is chunky. Spreading out the hands takes a little bit of work. Definitely. But you see it spreads out to nothing, to just butter. So as I stated before, this is uh, Cocoa Pumps or Cocoa Puffs and just like the rest of the line, it's like crazy how spot on he is. Straight up, Cocoa Puffs. And like I said before, it scoops out really hard. It is very hard, like really hard to scoop out. When it comes out, it's really chunky. And spreading it has definitely got some resistance. Definitely some resistance. You can feel it going into the hair for sure. It's not anything that's super uncomfortable, but it, it, is, uh, it is definitely grippy. So there's a layer underneath the top that gets pretty creamy, but it is definitely thick. The very top layer is super waxy, like really hard, like super hard, super heavy type scooping out. But once you get underneath it, it turns into a very thick, creamy consistency. It is nice. So like the rest of the line, this stuff is really easy to work with. And um, it, it sticks along with the theme of there's um, this cleanliness about the whole line. This one is, is beeswax based, so this one out of all of them feels the most like an oil based feel as far as greasiness. But in general, it is much less greasy than your average oil based. Just by the way that he brewed it and the fact that he put the mango butter in there I think helps. Um, but this one definitely feels the most towards what you would think an oil based is while the other two have this really nice clean not oil-based feeling, but it acts like an oil-based. So this one definitely stands out from the pack. All right, so everything's slicking over real nice. Nice sharp part. It's a nice shine to it. Everything's laying down pretty good. That firmness is really helping to stick all the hairs together, which I definitely need. So we're gonna go ahead and get into styling, and then we'll talk about the product. All right, so I'm gonna call that just about done. Um, I had actually more luck now than I did in the previous days that I've used it, which is usually the opposite. It's actually usually not as good when you do the video. So uh, this is awesome. So you got a pretty nice shape from it. Everything is laying down. I just got a few hairs here that I'm being OCD about. 
Parts nice. Kind of did my part in a weird spot, as you can see. Yeah, it looks alright. I think it's nice. So, this product out of all three, like I said before, stands out. It stands out in the fact that this one feels more like an oil-based. Um, it's got that beeswax and the hydrogenated castor oil. So it feels a lot like um, maybe the new, the one who knocks, um, and other products like that that have that first two um, combination, you know, as far as ingredients. So it's a familiar feeling um, with an added stickiness to it, which is actually really nice. Now the other day when I was wearing this, um, I was having a problem with it getting kind of dry. And right here I had my hair standing up like what I usually do. Um, but today it doesn't look like I will be dealing with that. It feels nice and, and sticky and, um, and it's holding everything down. It's really nice. Let's go ahead and take a second and we'll look at what we got. Alright, so if you're a member of Everything Pomade on Facebook, then you would have saw the other day I posted um, asking everybody's opinion on what is a firm hold. Um, it's not really that it's a controversial thing, but it's more like a lot of people have different opinions on what firm is. And uh, in my opinion, it, it is pretty much what everybody was saying in a sense to where it kind of um, applies and goes in the hair like a medium, but then the product solidifies in your hair almost and gives a firm feeling. Kind of like how a water base will do that, but with an oil base. Um, I've had other products do that before too that weren't labeled as a firm, but that's kind of that's kind of what everybody was thinking for the most part and what I'm thinking too, is um, it's in your hair and it feels soft right now, but you give it a few minutes or so and it's actually gonna firm up. Not like a gel type pomade, it's still recombable, but it uh, gives you that nice added benefit of what a gel pomade does, kind of where it firms up. So the wax is solidifying. So now we looked at the entire line and I'd have to say out of the whole line, my favorite is gonna be the medium. Um, and then we'll go the water base and then the firm. The reason for that is the medium is, um, it's got that stickiness and the wetness that holds everything together, a nice shine, the scent is amazing. And it just works really well for a nice natural shape for my hair. And then the water base was actually really surprising at the fact that it is kind of just a firm, almost like a firm oil base, but an actual uh, water base. So that was nice too. And the firm, like I said, most of the days I used it, I wasn't having the best luck um, other than today, of course, when I go to give it a review. So I would definitely not give anything in this line a bad review. They are all amazing and I would recommend that you pick them all up, but that's the order I like them in. Medium, water base, firm. And I just saw right now that Dave posted on his Instagram that he's doing a scent swap for the water base. So if you love the scent of the medium, which is orange soda slick, then he's gonna do the water base with that on it. So I'm definitely gonna pick that up too. It's really cool. So once again, this product is available on Hedgeline. I think it's uh, 16 bucks, um, fast and free shipping. And you can get all three of these on there from Tadashi at Hedgeline. I would definitely recommend that you go there. Once again, thank you Dave and Janelle Leslie for making this amazing line of pomades. It was super cool to check them all out. Really cool themes, very original scents. Um, the fact that everything uses mango butter is very original. Props to you, man, for being the first um, that I know of to do that kind of thing. So you rock, man, awesome job. As always, I got more reviews coming. I got some more stuff in like I was saying before. Um, I still have the Hedgeline Cutthroat Gel Pomade Collab. I've got the Classic Pomade from Alt Grooming coming up. And then I got into really cool gel pomades actually. And one of them is Gonzo. Super well uh, promoted, super sought after. And I'm really excited to bring that one to you guys. It's actually interesting. And then on top of that, I have Bad Panther Water Based. Is another foreign water-based pomade, gel pomade, and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about that in a little bit. So thank you, as always, for staying tuned to my channel. I really do appreciate all the subscribers. I'm just about to hit 800, so thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate it. Once I hit 1,000, I'm gonna do a big giveaway. I'm hoping to do that by the end of the year. That's my goal for this year. So if you guys can help me by sharing the videos and promoting it and telling people, that would really help me do that. All right, guys, thank you so much. You guys rock. I appreciate your viewership. Thank you guys so much. Peace out, all right? Have a good day.